All right, what's going on YouTube? Today we need to get into tobacco and whether this works or not in fragrance. Because we all know that tobacco can smell smoky. It can smell like a cheap bar. You definitely don't want to smell like a smoker to a lot of people. So this is one thing about it. Now, Versace Dreamer, this is the middle of the road kind of tobacco. Like some people think it smells like cigarettes. Some people like it. Some people think it smells like Le Mall, and then it turns into like a cheap tobacco smell. And then you have the one by Dolce Gabbana that has more of a rich tobacco. And now this is another thing. You know, like for a smoker, a rich tobacco smell may or may not be a good idea. Like if you have a scent that goes well with smoke smell, then tobacco may be a good thing. Now, you know, like the Boss Number One does a good job just having a little bit of tobacco to give a macho smell. And see, the macho-ness is the thing to it. Like, leather and tobacco are a very hit-or-miss oriented category. Like, the leathery tobacco is kind of the cowboy smell. And some people like this and some people really do not. So, you know, a lot of the leather tobacco will use vetiver and dry woods and a lot of components to buffer up the tobacco. So it will work well. And so this is one thing like the one by Dolce & Gabbana does a good job with tobacco. And then you get into some of the cheaper scents. But this is where basically with tobacco, you can have your floral tobacco, you can have your smoky tobacco, and then you can have your very rich, almost like Cuban cigar smell. And tobacco is a very diverse thing. Tobacco can do a great thing in fragrance if it is done just right. But tobacco really is a hit or miss, just like musk and amber and a lot of these notes, especially like musk. Musk can be one of the most pungent things in a fragrance that can just destroy it. Like a cheap scent will have a lot of musk that's very cheap. And so when it comes to scent notes, I think about the quality of the ingredients that they are using and how they have put it together. Is this going to keep going or is this going to just fall apart? Because there's a lot of scents that focus on top notes. And then when you get to the dry down, there's almost nothing left. And so tobacco is one of those things that can have a He-Man scent or it can have a smoky scent. It can sometimes smell old school. So, you know, for vintage, tobacco can actually do a good thing. Like if you want a good vintage old school scent, tobacco can be a good fragrance as long as it's not reformulated into junky juice. So, you know, hope this helps and thanks for watching.